We think that the decision to implement a hiring freeze in the public sector is simply wrong. We have thought that protecting employment will have been at the heart of the recovery process. Employment freeze in the public sector will be adding to the pain of Ghanaians, especially our young graduates who are struggling to secure employment. Already too many workers are losing their jobs in the private sector. In fact, some, because salaries are low, they use all their salaries to transport themselves into the workplace. So many people have decided that they will not work again. So employment freeze in the public sector will be adding pain to Ghanaians. Already too many of our friends in the private sector are, are losing their jobs. So to close the public sector to new entrants, we deem it a stab in the back of young Ghanaians who have been educated at a very great cost, not only to their families, but also to the, to the nation. What is the point of free S uh, SHS if graduates cannot secure jobs? What is the point? Why do you use our money to fund people through education and then you block the public service from entry? So what is the point? Moreover, employment freeze will negatively affect public service delivery. Thousands of workers retire every year. And if these thousands of workers who retire are not replaced, the few left are the ones who are going to carry the burden. And what is going to happen to public service delivery? Very negative. Therefore, we are demanding that government should reverse the decision to freeze employment in the public sector. This is not the time to destroy jobs. This is the time to create and protect jobs. And that is the message we have sent to the, the ministry and to government.